Hello, uh, Dowsar here uh, with uh, one more, probably my last uh, Nook Color video. Um, and uh, this one is uh, kind of titled to grab attention, you know, do not honeycomb root your Nook Color. Um, and you'll find uh, lots of videos on YouTube about running honeycomb on the Nook Color, uh, just about the fact that the Nook Color can run honeycomb. Um, and you know how to how to set up honeycomb uh, usually on an SD card which you know if you want to try out honeycomb on the nook color you know uh, uh, several people have put some work into uh, getting it working getting it basically working the all the basic functions are there um, and uh, it, it's impressive how how uh, how well they've done with that. Uh, however, um, you know the, the, this the, this video is not really aimed at people that just want to try out honeycomb and already have a nook color. Um, it's more aimed at people who um, are sold on the fact that 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 they can get a nook color and put honeycomb on it and have a honeycomb tablet. Okay. Um, you can have a great Android tablet. You can get a Nook Color for, you know, $200, $250 and have a fully functional Android tablet. Uh, your best bet for doing that right now is, and, and for the last several months, is uh, Cyanogen Mod 7, uh, which is a version of Android Gingerbread, which has been optimized for a tablet interface. Uh, you have the soft buttons down here. It's not the honeycomb uh, soft buttons, but uh, honestly I like these better because I can tell what they are. Uh, the honeycomb uh, buttons are more minimalistic, uh, which means that the menu button looks a lot like the back button looks a lot like the home button. But, <laughs> um, uh, you know, at any rate, honeycomb has some, some really awesome features too. Um, you know, some of which, you know, do work uh, on a honeycomb build for for the Nook Color, uh, but there are a lot of issues still with running honeycomb on the Nook Color. And the main issue is that when you run honeycomb, you're not actually running honeycomb on the Nook Color. Um, the people that have made it work don't have the source code, you know. Um, as opposed to Cyanogen Mod 7, they have the source code for Android Gingerbread. They have a complete build of, uh, you know, they have a complete Android operating system based on Android Gingerbread and optimized for this device. Uh, with Honeycomb, Google is not releasing the source code. Uh, you know, it, do it doesn't look like they're going to release it anytime soon. And, uh, you know, their excuse is they don't want to see it on phones. Uh, but that also leaves those of us with uh, non-Honeycomb tablets that are, are probably, in terms of hardware, perfectly capable of running honeycomb uh, leaves us out in the cold as well you know so uh, again it's it, it's quite impressive uh, how much uh, does work how much uh, you know people like deeper blue um, uh, mad cat uh, has uh, done a, a recent port of honeycomb 3.1 uh, for the nook you know it's impressive how much stuff they have gotten to work they'd also be the first people to tell you that uh, it's not. It's not Cyanogen Mod 7. It's not. You know. It's not. It's not that complete, um, and uh, definitely is not under that intensive development. You know, Cyanogen Mod 7. They're constantly improving it. Uh, they just recently got Deep Sleep working, which um, you know I was getting pretty decent battery life before, but uh, you know, def definitely much better battery life now. Uh, when you know when you leave the device sitting overnight, not plugged in, uh, it doesn't it doesn't lose as much uh, energy uh, when uh, when you're not using it. Um, and uh, you know that's about it. Uh, I called the video uh, "Do Not Honeycomb Root uh, Your Android Your uh, or Your uh, Nook Color." Um, you know, and and uh, actually. Uh, neither what I did to put Cyanogen Mod 7 on here, uh, nor what you would do to set up uh, uh, an SD card running Honeycomb uh, is rooting. has nothing to do with rooting. 
Um, routing gets thrown around for anything you do to change the capabilities of an Android device. And um, what routing actually is, is uh, basically changing the permissions on your device, on the existing operating system that came on your device, so that you have super user access, uh, which is like being the administrator on a Windows PC. Uh, you can install programs uh, from outside of the, uh, the allowed programs, which on the Nook means you can install programs from the Google market. You don't have to go through just Barnes & Noble's market uh, if you were to root uh, a Nook color. Uh, but you would still be running the operating system that came on the device. What we've done here is uh, put an entirely different operating system on it. Um, you know, in this case, my, my earlier video, I was running CM7 from an SD card. Now I've actually put it on the device. And performance is actually, I did start developing some issues running from the SD card. But, um, you know, the performance now that I'm getting... Uh, on the internal storage, having flashed the CM7 ROM to the internal storage, is really pretty identical to what I was getting when I had it stable on the SD card, just in the course of uh, basically screwing around, trying out different ROMs, flashing this, flashing that, and, and changing things around. Uh, you know, my SD install ended up be getting kind of unstable. Um, and uh, I also wanted to have... Uh, total use of, I only have one SD card right now, so I wanted to use it for storage. So I, uh, you know, reverted my SD card to storage, put CM7 actually on the device, and, and, you know, for me, for now, that's just a simpler setup. I'm not that worried about the fact that I changed, changed the operating system and it voids my warranty and all that. Um, and uh, that's, that's about it. So, you know, again, um, this video is not uh, saying that, that Honeycomb will do anything bad uh, to your Nook Color. Um, just that it's not, it's not a complete operating system right now. Um, maybe someday it will be. You know, again, it's just not in as good a position uh, to do that as, as Gingerbread, as what they've done with uh, Cyanogen Mod 7. Um, you know, but uh, it's still... Uh, it, you know, it's it's definitely still worth checking out. Uh, just don't go on eBay and pay someone fifty dollars for uh, Nook Color Android Honeycomb 3.0 8 gigabyte Class 10 SD rooted um, because they're already lying to you. Uh, it's not rooted. Um, it's probably not a Class 10 SD card. If it is, um, you know, maybe I'll put something in the comments, but. You don't want to try to run an operating system from a Class 10 SD card. It will be a horrible experience if it will even boot up. Uh, so they're probably giving you a bunk SD card. Uh, or <laughs> either they're giving you a bunk SD card or a really horribly performing uh, honeycomb operating system. Uh, so don't, don't do that. If you want to actually get informed on the limitations of the operating system and make your own SD card, go for it. Just be prepared to use something else for your day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, tablet use. Okay, that's all. Um, so uh, enjoy your nut colors if you got them. Uh, and bye-bye. Uh,